Right, welcome back everyone. Right, I'm gonna do the uh, DIY baggy shower today. Um, meant to do it ages ago, it's been absolutely flat out at work. Um, right, this is a really simple thing to do. Um, so it's basically, this is more for the people that don't know. Um, but uh, I'm gonna do a step by step anyway. Um, um, yes, let's crack on. So all you're gonna need is, is, is drill, hole saw set, inch and a half, two inch. Um, Hacksaw, but I'm lazy, so I'm using a chop saw, and it gives a it gives a neater cut as well. Um, yeah, let's crack on. So, I mean, obviously, the most important thing is your box choice. Um, you need something sturdy. Something like this is just no good whatsoever. It's brittle, it's going to break. Uh, it's transparent, which is no good for algae, etc., etc. Um, right. Let's crack on. I'm gonna start with box one, which is the top, and work my way down. So let's crack on. Right, so box one, obviously I'm gonna put, I'm gonna, I'm going inch and a half. You can go two inch or whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna start off with an inch and a half. I will show you a tip. I'm gonna start off an inch and a half, see what the flow rate's like. But if I wanna go up, there is a way of doing it. It's not that difficult. Um, so I'm gonna crack on and drill this, and I'll show you the next step. Cheers. Right, that was drilled. I'm just gonna clean it up. You can use a standing knife, you can use a file. Uh, I'm gonna use it. Sandpaper works for me, um, whatever you want to do. Um, right, I'll get back to you in a minute. Cheers. Right, okay, so I've drilled my inch and a half hole, right? But I might consider going up to two inch. So, what you can do if you want to go up to two inch or bigger, whatever you want, um, get an off cut piece of wood, get drill a hole in the center, but well, that will give you an alignment for a bigger. Otherwise, you're going to be all over the place, trust me. It's going to be everywhere. So, use, <coughs> use that center hole to then go over again. If you slow, if you slow, just be slow and delicate, and then you can make the hole bigger, and it's um, comes out alright. I've tried it before, tried and tested. Trust me, it works. Um, alright, I'll see you in a minute. Right, so once the uh, hole's drilled, obviously bulkhead in. Um, the O-ring or the gasket has to be on the outside. Just letting you know, not naming any names or anything. <laughs> yeah, on the outside. Uh, bear in mind, I, I just got this delivery from Palm Planet, and they actually sent me double the O-ring. So I'm actually going to put one on the inside as well. Just to, you know, I don't know. I've got no other use for them, so I might as well. Um, right, so there we're at the moment. Um, you give me a second, we get on to the next stage. Cheers. Well, I hope you can see that clearly. So, um, inch and a half in, okay. 40 mil T. This is just my version. You can do whatever you want. Um, <clears throat> full, this is 40 mil pipe, by the way. It's not pressure pipe, it's southern well pipe. Don't get confused, because uh, the pressure pipe is better if you can use that always do um this the pressure pipe is about 48.3 mil i think external diameter and it's much thicker uh, it's just better but i'm loving the diy stuff so you know cheap and cheerful for me at the moment anyway um as i can say that so the idea is we'll have two spray bars one here uh one here i'll just cut them down now and I'll um, I'll show you see what's coming next. All right, cheers, guys. Right, so I've drilled the um, holes in the spray bar. I've gone for eight mil. Um, I've used this steel ruler just to get. I've done them an inch apart. You know, make it neat. Why not? You know, putting holes everywhere. You might um, you know you might end up finding yourself a brand new backy shower. You know, sparkling new backy shower. And you know, if you pass on to a mate, it will last years. It's, it's PVC pipe, but it's still solid. Um, yeah, do a good job of it, you know what I mean? Um, right, anyway, let's move on. Right, here's where we're at. So, um, I've got all the measurements on there. If you were to copy this, my version, um, well, it's not my version, it's pretty much everyone's on YouTube's. Um, so, yeah, it's that. I can't pronounce it. Jago box, 51 litre. There's a measure 40 mil, 95, 95, 40 mil, and 405. I've also got these um, little end caps. So these end caps are going to sit on, sit in there. Obviously, stop the water flow. Oh, sorry about that. They're going to sit in the, sit on the end there. Stop the water flow getting out of there. So all of the water goes out of the intended holes. So I'm going to spin it around a bit. All right, let's spin that around. Yeah. Um, so that will be solvent welded there. All this will be free. It shouldn't break apart. It should be fine. 
gives, it means you can obviously rotate the water flow onto your jet matting or filter floss or whatever. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for box one. Um, yeah, let's move on to box two, which is obviously going to be the easiest one. But right, I'll catch you in a minute. Cheers. All right, box two. Um, what's great about these boxes is they've got a crisscross at the bottom. So all you've got to do is drill holes in the center of each crisscross. Um, I'm going to leave the sides as they are. I'm just going to go for the central part, like the big squares. Uh, so I'm going to crack on doing that. Eight mil again, I'm going to go for. And I'll, uh, yeah, I'll uh, be back in a minute. Cheers. All right, that's box two's holes drilled. Um, nice and easy. Um, I'm just laughing at myself because um, box one has, has to have the holes in as well. <laughs> World's worst teacher coming at you. Um, right, yeah, so box one, these are exactly the same as box two. I do apologize. So I'm going to crack on and do this now. Cheers. Okay, well, I'm on box three now. Um, so this is just inch and a half holes again, just two holes. Um, whatever you do, not drill the bottom. You don't. <laughs> Obviously, I've got to say it. You don't need holes in the bottom of this one. Um, anyway, so I've gone. So I've gone. Um, I've used a square. Sorry about the light. It's terrible. Oh, I've got this flicked in. Um, I've got 150 mil in from the sides. Yeah, and then I've got 100 mil up from the bottom. Yeah. So I was going to go ahead now and drill those. Yeah, I'll get back to you in a second. Cheers. Okay, right. right, so there's box three finished. Just uh, two inch and a half there, uh, cottony coy um, bulkheads. Um, like I say, make sure you've got the gasket on the outside. Um, I've put I've put some on the inside because I've got those spare, so it can't hurt, can it? Um, yeah, I've got a bit harsh on the um, sandpaper, but this is not going to be seen in my pond, so I don't care what the front looks like. So mine's going to go... So that's going to be coming through the back wall behind, and they're going to be drilling through that wooden backboard, so you're not going to see these showers whatsoever. Um, oh yeah, forgot about that. No expense spared on this channel, trust me boys. <laughs> right, anyway, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this together now, um, just to show what it looks like. And then maybe I'll run some water through it, just you know, do like a dry run. Um, yeah, I'll see you in a minute. Cheers. So I'm trying to do a practice run, but it's I'm having a nightmare because obviously I can't, it's not water tight. I can put the uh, garden hose in it, but you get the gist, yeah. Uh, as your outlet, just uh, spray down to your outlet, and then obviously that's going to look much better, but obviously I'm having a problem leaking. Um, just a really important thing don't make sure you use a rubber rubber fit in here and um, obviously for maintenance and stuff you want to be able to attach the attaches from you know in a uv or whatever um yeah that's about it um if that does work i've done one before so i promise you that will work sound um just to quick i'm just going to put a little video at the end of this just to um i've got a question for you do you not um i've fixed my skimmer now and um, I'll show you. I'll do, I'll do a little bit at the end. Just leave a comment, that'll be great. Um, apart from that, um, any queries, just give us an email. I'll leave my email down at the bottom. All right, cheers, everyone. Bye. All right, hi, everyone. So I thought we were going to skim around. So what I'm just going to happen is we're going to do an elbow coming off of here, um, pipe running down, and to clear this all out. But, um, I'm running all the way along the bottom, and then just about here, I want a. Um, a moving bed. Um, put it what do I do? Do I gravity feed that to the barrel for the moving bed and then external pump back into the pond? Or do I pump it from there to the barrel and use gravity to feed back to the pond? Um, I'd rather gravity feed it because obviously then it doesn't get chopped up. The ponies don't get chopped up by the uh, impeller. But, um, I don't know. It's, uh, I've never had a wolf skin before. Um, if you leave a comment, that'd be terrific. Um, yeah, cheers, guys. Um, obviously, I'm still learning how to video edit, so um, you know, I, I, I do intend to 
doing this for a long term so if you can subscribe if i've helped you in any way i've learned everything about that ponds on youtube so if i can give something back that'd be terrific um all right i'll see you again cheers bye, -bye.